Hey, how's it going? Today I want to show you how to route audio from your computer, whether it's from, you know, YouTube or Spotify or wherever else into your DAW for, you know, science and analysis and nothing illegal whatsoever. No Siri Bob. Now, if you're a PC user and you use Reaper like me, you can use RIA route, which comes with your default install of Reaper. And I'll link to this Reaper blog entry where you can learn how to set this up properly. But if you're a Mac user, you don't have RIA route, so we can make an aggregate device. So the first step is to download a virtual audio interface, and I'd recommend going with VB cable or black hole. Both of them are free and I'll put links to download them in the description. So download one or both of them and you'll be good to go. Next, I'll go up to the top right corner of my Mac and click on this magnifying glass. And in the search bar, I'll type audio MIDI setup and hit enter to open it. So here you will see all the audio devices currently connected to your computer, including the virtual audio device that you hopefully just downloaded. So as you can see, I have VB cable right here and a few versions of black hole as well. So go to the bottom left corner and click on this plus icon. And we're going to select the first option to create an aggregate device. Now you can see all your devices in this column right here. And then aggregate device can connect any number of interfaces to give you a device with the input and output count of the sum of all those interfaces. Let's give this one a name as well. I'll call it route back. And now I can tick this box next to any of these to start building my aggregate device. I'm going to select my physical interface first. For me, that's the Moto M2. For you, it could be a Scarlett or Orient or SSL or whatever. So select that first. And after that, you can take the box for the virtual audio interface, which in my case is the VB cable. Now it's important to select your physical interface first because the order in which you select these devices will determine the number given to their inputs and outputs. So I want my physical interface to occupy outputs one and two because that's what my headphones and speakers are connected to. And I want to be able to hear what I'm doing. Make sure up here to also set the correct sample rate and your clock source should be set to your physical interface as well. Now in any of these virtual audio interfaces, each input is routed to the corresponding output. So any audio going in input one of VB cable will come out of output one and any audio going out of output one will come back in through input one and so on. So back in your DAW, for me that's Reaper, go to preferences and select your aggregate device as the audio device. Now you can create a stereo track and as your inputs, you need to select the virtual audio inputs. So I'll select VB cable input one and two Next, I'll click on the speaker icon on my Mac up here and I'll select VB cable as my device. So now anything I play in VLC or Spotify or YouTube or whatever else will go through output one and two on my virtual device and come back in through input one and two. So I'm just going to go on Spotify and play my own music so I don't get sued. And now if we go back to Reaper, we will see that signal is coming in. I can click on the speaker icon and we will begin to hear stuff. So, you know, I can record this to use as my reference track. If I'm playing a YouTube video and it's too quiet, I can turn it up from here. I can do mono checks of mixes that I'm listening to and all sorts of things like, like such as that. Easy peasy, young cheesy. Now, if you're a keen observer, you will have noted that my Moto M2 interface actually has its own built-in loopback channels on three and four. So I didn't need to do this, right? Wrong. I think the built-in routeback option on most interfaces uh, are kind of not well designed. And the reason for that is that you can never monitor them in real time. For example, say I'm watching this awesome interview with renowned producer Brendan O'Brien. Brendan O'Brien at an undisclosed location. Hmm. Or Henson Studio. Or, or Henson Studio, yeah. Or maybe the back room at uh, <laughs> Guitar Center. Could, Could be. be here. Could be. The interview is great, but whoever yeah. uploaded the video on YouTube didn't like mix it properly. So we have the interviewer's audio coming in through the left and then Brendan's voice is coming through the right, which is kind of annoying to listen to. So I may want to use my route back so I can get the interview audio into my DAW and just mix it down to mono. So, you know, set my audio device back to my M2 and select the route back. But the issue is if I monitor enable my track, well, the audio comes in here, then goes out of output one and two, and then comes back in here. They hand it out every year, and they, I'm sure most of them wondering, what are those right And we got ourselves a feedback loop. So I do think most interface manufacturers kind of set this up a little bit wrong. They should really give you four channels so I can bring in audio from three and four and then hear it from one and two without getting a feedback loop. 
But now that we have an aggregate device, we can do just that. So set the input back to VB cable, select it as my interface again, and now I can arm and monitor, enable this track, get my audio in. A living doing it never crossed my mind. It's just what we... As you can hear, it's coming in. And now I can just click here on the mono mix down button and I can hear this in real time with the correct stereo image. Bought a Led Zeppelin record. You look on the back, it said produced by Jimmy Page. So that's why even if your interface has a route back option, creating an aggregate device will probably give you some extra control and convenience. So I hope you found this video helpful. Hit me with your questions below in the comments. If you like the work I do, you can support the channel by one-time donations through buymeacoffee.com or you can become a member of this channel and get access to exclusive content, including a detailed breakdown of a Brendan O'Brien mix of a Rage Against the Machine song. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.